My name is Winsome Jobling and I'm an artist based in Darwin. Uh, my primary medium is handmade paper, but I also do printmaking and sculptures and drawing as well. I love paper making. It connects me to where I am because for my artworks, the materials that I use come from the bush around me, which is part of that idea that I want all the information in the paper. There's two styles of paper making. So there's the Western style and then there's the Japanese way of making paper. My process sort of incorporates some Japanese techniques with the layering of sheets so I can make a piece of paper that might have five layers of different coloured pulps all made at once on the same mould. So the basis of my work mostly is the environment and our effect on it. The paper is the voice of the plants. So particularly sand palms, which I just love because they're just so resilient. And cycads are also one of my favourites because they've been around since the Jurassic. To me, they're like time, embodiment of time. They have this history they've been watching and looking and just making note of what we do. In the wet season where everything's growing and wet and just beautiful and fecund, I go out and collect. I've tried about 80 or more native and exotic species from the top end to make paper. So yeah, I do use the seasons to make the paper. And so I collect in the wet, I cook in the wet. So I've got to cook them in an alkaline solution that gets rid of all the lignans and waxes and you're basically left with cellulose fibre. Paper needs a lot of water to rinse and I hate wasting water. The wet season is perfect. Yeah, which is another sort of, I mean, it adds to that sustainability of the whole process and that connection to um, environment, climate, place, which I really like. Then the fibres are beaten in a Hollander beater and depending on the fibre, depending on the type of paper I want, it's usually in the beater for a couple of hours. So I tend to process fibre in the wet season and then I've got all that fibre and I can freeze it and then often I'll make paper in the dry season because then I know it will dry properly, there isn't that humidity. The last show I had was in Melbourne and uh, the works were about the dry season. The dry season series was about bushfires. There was a lot of black pigment and um, I used a lot of bush charcoal, which I grind up and um, mix in the paper pulp. And so it's mainly about gamba grass, which is a declared noxious weed and just causes really hot, devastating bushfires. It is starting to destroy native bushland. And gamba grass makes really beautiful paper, but I do have to have a permit to go and collect it, which is fair enough. The other thing is the idea that I'm using a noxious weed because of that other intrinsic meaning in it which is our impact on the environment. One of the highlights, I suppose, has been the survey show that I had at the Museum and Art Gallery of the Northern Territory. Um, and that was amazing. The first works that I had in their collection were sheets of paper and all the data of the experiments I was doing with plants from my early experiments. Seeing the work from those plain sheets to the artwork, it was really interesting seeing the development of the work. But I do try to, in like the artist statement that goes with an exhibition, um, explain that seasonality, the process, the sort of haptic nature of the process and how I'm immersed in it from beginning to end and sort of it's over time as well, the work. So there's so many elements in it.